Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Amazon jungle and a cave near the plane crash. I'm Gazbeard, this is Green Hell and we've got a couple of jobs to do today. We have not yet saved the game believe it or not. All of this week's episodes have been recorded back to back without saving the game so we need to do that and in order to do that we need to build a shelter with a roof because it's the only way that the game will let you save now standing out here briefly having a look around I don't see a lot of the types of trees that we're gonna need to do building not in close proximity we're gonna have to travel a ways to get them let's just look in the notebook let's just look at the building frames first Right, what we need with this type of frame is we need two fat trees to get the four logs. And we need two f the two fat trees plus an extra thin tree to get the five long sticks. The ropes we can pick up off pretty much anything. If there was bamboo near to us, then we would need two stands of fat bamboo and one stand of thin bamboo to make this frame. That will let us put a roof on and we can then do a save once the roof is on. We could potentially just make this shed and put a roof on that but I'm not sure it would let us make the shed without having the frame for it to lean onto. The other type of shelter that we can make is either of these. A hut shelter, which requires three long sticks, which is two thin trees, and ordinary sticks and a load of palm leaf. That's the quickest shelter to make. Or we could make one of these, but using wood instead of bamboo. We should have it, there it is, small shelter. One fat tree and two thin trees will do it but it uses a lot of rope um that's one another way to do it what i'm thinking of doing is where's the entrance to the cave there's the entrance to the cave i'm thinking of just using one of those square frames up against the entrance of the cave and do it that way so let's see if we can get it to position like that Where's it gone? There it is. Is it going to let me put it up against the entrance to the cave? No. That's the closest it's going to let me put it. Okay, let's do that. Let's get two fat trees cut. We might need to make another axe. Let's just get a drink before we go. Check our stats. Oh, we need quite a bit of water, actually. Just as well the bidon's already full. Uh, we could use it, that extra one. And in fact, we need some carbs and fats, I noticed. So we don't have any carbs on us, but we do have fats. Let's eat those. We'll save the meat for later. Got 18 hours left. Oh, we should have just eaten the meat. Never mind. Such is life. Carbs, we can get either bananas, which there is a bunch across here. There we are, four bananas. There's another bunch there, look. We'll save them for when we move on. And there's also mushrooms here. So... Keep the bananas. It won't let me put that banana there, why? Alright. Eat that banana. Eat those few mushrooms. Mushrooms don't last very long. We're at 34.2 of 50 weight allowance. Let's go... Oops, wrong way. Let's go kill that snake. We need to pick up sticks for making another fire as we're going around. We know where the snake's at, so... We can move reasonably freely. Oh, 
we'll cut the trees down once we've dealt with the snake uh, there's plenty of trees up here fat trees and thin trees and I'll explain the difference on those in a moment oh, a lot of thin sticks here We've got leeches. Oh, that's us done on thin sticks. We need fat sticks now and we're done on fat sticks. And the snake is still there. Now I said I'm much better with the bow than I am with the spear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the snake down with the spear to get the, the points. Yeah, I see you. Got ya. Right, and we'll harvest him. That gets us a spear experience point and a harvesting experience point. And once we start a fire and cook them up, we'll get points for both of those as well. And I saw over here... Uh, oh, we got natives down there. Yes, straight through there on the tip of my spear is one of those unknown herbs that lets us make the lily dressings. Right, so we've got natives down there. Let's go back and dump our firewood so that we can collect more of it as needed. Um, right, this is a fat tree. And this is a fat tree. You can see how... When we're up close to them, they're about as wide as my hand. So let's try and get that to drop the way that we want it. All right, we'll take the logs down first and then we'll get them leeches off us. More bananas there. Just wait for your template to go green. Press E and it puts them into place. I saw them on that hand. Just the one. Whoops. Let's offload our sticks in here. For, in fact, let's get the fire set up for lighting. So notebook fire making tab set your fire in place you sometimes have to step backwards and forwards to get it in the right place just keep tabbing E until all the sticks are in then we'll move across here we'll offload the excess sticks we'll just keep those thin ones on us for now And I'll head back up here to where we cut down that tree. Look look for the tree stump. There's the tree stump. There it is. Oh, ropes. We're going to need... We need about four ropes to make this one. I think we already had two on us, but we'll take that one anyway. And we'll pick up these small fat sticks to top up the, the firewood pile so where's the long sticks that should have come off that tree there's the stump oh it fell this way didn't it Where did the long sticks go? Where did they go? I thought they went down here. Damn it, I knew I should have picked them up. 
Ah, this looks like the spread of sticks that you get from a tree going down. No, don't see them. Ah, or did they fall back towards the cliff? They did fall back towards the cliff, there we are. Right, so we're full on short fat sticks. Get the two long sticks. We'll take these down and we'll drop them here, ready. Go and cut another fat tree. There's a fat tree. offload our fat sticks when we get down here. Come on. There we go. We could in fact offload our thin sticks put the, put the thin sticks here I'm not making stick holders at this point because there's no point we're not going to be hanging around here long enough certainly not going to be hanging around here long term now that the the natives are moving into this area we're nowhere near ready to fight them yet we've got our skills are not high enough and we don't have our armor or anything else made so we definitely don't want to be picking fights with the natives yet Right, now we want a thin tree, because we need another one of those long sticks. There's plenty of palm, these larger palm bushes dotted around here. Is that, no, that's a liana drop. That's a fat tree. There's a thin tree. Oh, no. I said we'd have to make another axe, didn't I? So craft, craft, craft. Wait a minute, we only need one, that's it. No. Yeah, it's just the one stone one stick make a simple axe Two long sticks. I also said we had to um, pick, pick these up, get five of them. I also said we had to make piles of 
leaves for uh, making tinder. Well, that's the frame done. Let's just get some piles of leaves. And I really should be using just the the ordinary blade for doing this. Because it's the fastest way to get your blade skill up. Come on. Best way to do these is just to keep keep smacking at the small bushes until you get a a drop that shows you that your um, backpack is full. All right, so we want to drop those sticks off. We want to drop the leaves off, um, and we need a nice clean piece of floor so we can see where they are. That will do. So. Come on, in, thank you. So we'll drop the leaves off here. And they will just collapse down as they dry out. Knocking those small bushes down, it opens up the terrain around here a little bit for um, seeing what's around. Now we need... Let's just swap across to the the blade. If it's in this number 5 slot, you, you have to use the right click equip. Can I pick another leaf up? Yes, I can. Right. Um, first thing we need to do is use our notebook to put the roof on. Down here, I put... No, it's up here. There we are. Palm roof. Pick those all up again using the E key. Look at the roof, just keep tapping E until they're all in the roof. Go back, pick all of these up. that's that done so then these become a pain in the neck oops throw them all down there and let's just right click destroy all of them just no why can't we destroy that I don't want to pick it up. I 
so we're going to have to pick these up and then put them down and destroy them. Right, there we go. That's them out of the way. Right, we can refill on sticks. Let's get our bow back out just in case. We're tanking a little bit. Uh, yeah, we need water, carbohydrates, protein, fats, etc. So, going to the here, let's just eat another piece of that. It'll take care of the fats and the proteins. Eat a pair of bananas. It'll take care of the carbohydrates for now. Go find our coconut bowls. Perfect. Could do with a little bit more water, but we need it to rain first. Let's just get a few more sticks. Get a good stock of sticks in there for running the fire. Should be loads of them around where we chop the trees down. Oh, there's more bananas. We've got that rattlesnake to cook as well. There's more mullen area if we wanted it. Can you hear the natives? I don't want to go aggroing them. Like I said, we're not strong enough yet. We still haven't done the save that we were going to do, which was the purpose for building that structure. Let's just do that. Press and hold E to save. It asks you which save you want to use. So I'm, I'm using number four for this run through. There we are, game saved. And. We are on day four. Well, we've survived four days. We've traveled 4.2 kilometers and we've vomited zero times so far. Here at the crash site, the plane crash site, we are at 40 west, 24 south. If you want to try, uh, try and find it yourself, it's a very good starting base. You just got to remember you've got to put something like this up to allow you to save because there is nothing here specifically for you to save so let's go in get this fire going get that um, snake cooked up so go into our backpack go to the fire menu use the hand drill go into the materials use a dry leaf Come on. Yes. and Ignite it, get our snake, put it on there, put it on there, that's it. Just check our stats. Water is what we mainly need, so while that snake is cooking, we can go out and we can just check, see if there's any more water in our coconut shells. No, they're empty. We're waiting for it to rain. Which it's going to do any minute now. We'll be able to get asleep tonight. We've got leeches on us by the look of it. Yep. Get off and walk. No passengers on this bus. Rattlesnake meat is cooked. Do we need to eat? No, we don't need to eat. So we can just put it in the backpack. In the food section. It's still not letting me put anything in that first column there. Looks like I've got a bug in there. But it will let me put them both in there. Underneath those mushrooms. 
and we can use the wood that's in the backpack just to top the fire up because it's probably bedtime so we'll get asleep uh, just check the time four o'clock in the morning it's definitely bedtime we need at least four hours sleep to prevent insomnia kicking in so uh, wake up just after eight o'clock there we are we're not quite full energy so we'll need to spend one more night here but we've now done all our heavy duty stuff here we should be able to get an early night tonight we're waiting for those leaf piles collapsing down so that we get our dried leaves um, as tinder for on the move that iron has not respawned yet let's just put some of these sticks on the fire there we are I'll just keep it going for us for today it would be nice to find a couple of dead birds and get their feathers and make a few more arrows I like to have at least 10 arrows on me but what I'm going to do is because some of the episodes in this introductory week to Green Hell have been rather long I'm going to save the game there and at this juncture this is where I'm going to thank you all for watching invite you to leave your comments questions etc down below say how you like in the series do I need to pick up the speed a bit do I need to get a bit more adventurous whatever we will be moving on from here um, after we've had one more night's sleep here and we'll then definitely be getting more adventurous as we go into new territories hope you'll join me for that that will be on Thursday next week and it will be a weekly series after this remembering that in about four to five weeks time uh, I think it's either the 4th or the 5th of September the game goes to final release it's still in early access right now and I will probably start a new series um, to experience the full flavor of that because it'll have all the new maps the full story mode and everything else involved plus probably a whole expansion to the crafting etc I'm guessing anyway look forward to seeing you next week I'm Gazbeard, this is Green Hell, we're at the plane crash site. Thanks for being with me, I'll see you in the next one. As always from me, it's not goodbye, it's just bye for now.